Hey everyone, Tony Gaddis here, animator and artist. And let's go ahead and start off by creating a grid. So this will just be a quick, uh, quick guide. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll give some, give us something to reference our character on. Just throw down some quick lines. Okay, so I'm going to lock that layer and change the opacity down to about 25. Okay, let's create a new layer. Go ahead and set our keyframes. For me, spacing and timing go hand in hand. Uh, I, I usually try to work out my spacing before I start doing anything with timing, like adjusting keys and things like that. Let's go ahead and create two characters. Okay, so our next drawing we're going to do at frame 9. And this will be our up pose. So they're each going to jump up. Okay, something like that. And the next guy, he'll get to this pose... At the same time, frame nine. He's not super thrilled he has to jump. So now let's copy our first pose, frame one, over to frame 19. There we go. Actually, let's put it on 17. That way we can do halvesies all the way on our time. So, so we have one. 9, 17. Okay, so they're jumping up and coming back down to this first pose. I just want to show you how you can... Um, the timing can stay the same, but you can play with spacing in your drawings to get a different feel. So the character on the left will make him have more of a quick, kind of quick, he holds it in the air and then comes down, and the character on the right will kind of have an even keel kind of jump or just kind of a little more monotone and so I'll show you how we achieve that the first character let's go to frame 5 set a key and we're gonna favor this up pose let's do something like that okay so now let's draw his mouth in real quick and get his eyeball in here. So now he's coming up. And the guy on the right, the same key, keyframe, five, he we're gonna do him right in the middle. Okay. And now as they come back down, we'll go to frame 13, set a key, and again, we're going to favor this up pose. You know what? Let's do something a little different on him. Let's favor the top of his head. But let's bring his body, let's stretch it down like this. Get like a contact with that foot, and then this leg. Is still coming down. I don't know. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Okay, and the guy on the right, we will do halfway again. So this is him coming down from his jump. Okay, now let's break this down a little bit more. On frame three, set a keyframe. And I'm going to change the onion skinning a little bit. I'm going to turn some of these off so it's not so confusing. 
Okay, so he's up. So this is him coming up. So again, let's favor this kind of up pose a little. There we go. Okay, he got a little bit smaller on this drawing, so I'm going to scale him up just a bit. There we go. Okay, and so going back to frame three, we're going to draw the guy on the right. Okay, and it, as you can see, we already have some personality. Uh, let's go ahead and change the time. If you go under the animation tab, we'll change it from one to 17. And play speed one, frame rate 24. Okay, let's hit play. Nice, that's looking good. So let's go ahead and throw in some uh, some more drawings on frame two. Well, before we do that, let's go to frame seven, insert a key. And so what we're gonna do is continue to this drawing at frame nine. So on seven, we're gonna get even a little closer. And the guy on the right, let's go halfway. Here we go, now let's go to frame, let's see where we're at, frame 11, set a keyframe. And so the guy on the right's gonna start coming back down, so go halfway. Now we'll go to frame 15, set a key, go halfway again. Okay, let's go ahead and hit play, see where we're at. Okay, so the guy on the left, he will do, we're gonna favor, we're just gonna keep favoring that top drawing. Okay, so that's our basic spacing. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, a few more drawings, get an anticipation pose. So let's go to uh, frame two, insert a key, and this little guy is gonna kind of like, it's gonna kind of squash down, getting ready for the jump. Comes down, jumps up. Okay, let's have him land before he comes up. That's looking pretty good. So what I like to do, uh, it's feeling a little jarring on the down, so I like to give myself a little breathing room on the, the timing. Let's go ahead and space these keys out. So hold down Alt and drag over. And we'll time it, we'll evenly time it on twos. So we'll give each drawing time on the screen for two frames. So that makes our new end time 21. Let's change the end time 21. All right, let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. So we have these two little guys jumping and uh, they can they feel different one is reaching the top faster holding it stretching down the other one is just kind of even kill you know um, he's not amused that he has to be jumping so um, yeah if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and 
happy animating, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.